Hi all, and welcome to Night Rips. So, as you see, I did a little decorating uh, to for the this opening, and what we're going to do is we're going to open up four more packs of the 1993 Series 1 of Top Stadium Club. Uh, when I say I was doing a little decorating, one of the things that was crazy was the fact that we pulled a member's choice card, a first day production card, which there's only 2,000 of each card, and a 3,000 hit club for George Brett. And there's, I mean, there's plenty of these. They're not really uh, limited. But for both of these, the chances of getting it was a 1 in 24. And we pulled both of them in the first four packs. So might as well open some more. See what else we can find. You know, the member's choice card is, is not as big a deal. It was not really... It's not really a numbered thing, or it was the the last I think ten cards was was the member's choice, but I actually put it in there because you know the fact that it's got that that uh, refractor type foil on it, it just looks cool. Plus, if you remember with uh, twenty twenty one Stadium Club members' choice, those were case hits. So let's go ahead and open these up and see if we get anything else crazy. We might get nothing. Who knows? We may also be able to get a Master Photo Redemption. But unfortunately, the time to redeem it is past. But it will be a basically a picture of what that Master Photo would have been. We just have to get our DeLorean time machine and go back to 1993 to, to pull it. All right, let's see if it, we can find that. Yeah, this one's got one, another one of those stadium club club memberships. And again, what makes these really good is that it tells me where the center of the pack is because the, you know they turn all the cards in so they didn't mess up the you know being on the outside. Oh, there's Goose Gossage. He's a he's definitely a, a big name. And. Trying to be careful pulling them apart. And I am going to go through relatively quick as we try to find you know, anything, anything out of the ordinary or call out any of the big names. Again, there's 300 cards in this set. So there's 300, 300, and 150. Kind of an interesting look. What I do, I I really, I really dig the pictures in these. I mean, you will get some, and even something like this is not a standard look. While it is them standing, you can definitely tell it's more than just your standard pose. You know, you get a lot more like this that they're actually either doing something or they ask them to you know what are you thinking Jeff Montgomery has that ball in his hand uh, come on there's Gene Larkin these cards have kept up oh here you go there's Wade Boggs it's a very young white box. I think I saw him play. See, this is '93, probably at least five years later when he was with the Devil Race. I don't remember off the top of my head what year that was. There's Craig Biggio, Kevin Biggio's dad. '93, he'd been in the league for. I think I think his rookie year was '89 or '90. And Rob Dugby, or Ducey, sorry. Reading the foil when I have to tilt the cards down so that y'all don't get the, the glare on them. Sometimes not the clearest thing, but that's okay. Let's go and move on to pack number two. Definitely a little harder to get these open. I mean, these aren't your standard wax packs. 
They also weren't your standard wax packs because I think the retail price on these was like two bucks a piece. So I just bought a 36 pack box. So if you would have bought those individually, you know, they're 72 bucks right there. And needless to say, I did not pay $72 for that, for that box. So it's like everything else. If you wait long enough, it will, uh, it will go down. All right, see if we can find a center. Yep, there's our center card. Oh, and this one talks about the first day production card. Let's see, it gives opportunities for collectors to own first day production cards. We'll take the first production run of stadium cards, imprint the card fronts with a special foil, and then randomly insert into all stadium club cases at the rate of one per every 24 packs. Fewer than 2,000 of each Stadium Club card will be first day production card, making each card part of an extremely limited edition. And first one, we pull one. So, cannot complain at all. So, there's up to 2,000. So, that must be interesting. They actually put info cards about each individual thing in here. I wish they'd do that now. All right, it's come apart. There we go. He's definitely swinging with his donut on. There's Alejandro Pena. That's kind of a cool shot. Luis Rujo, Marijo. Ah, Moses Alou. Alu. Two stuck together. Sorry about that. Don't want to give Rich Amaro his his due. Uh, that is Omar Vizquel. Oh, Ron Gant. As I always say, he's new morning news anchor on Fox 5 News Atlanta. Yeah. Unfortunately for him, even though he's a 30-30 guy, uh, injuries got him. It really kept him from from doing a lot more than because he was a good player. But had to bounce around a little bit. Could never really could really never settle in. And unfortunately, I think that happens to too many players, uh, especially pitchers. You know, you, once you start getting injuries to your arm or whatnot. Oh, here we go. It's Eric Karos, member's choice. Again, it's another one of those real nice refractory type logos, uh, foil logos. So I'll definitely set him to the side. You know, there is 10 of those. So hopefully we pull most of them. Otherwise, I'll have to buy more Series 1. But yeah, we should we should be able to get the entire set. Or at least that's the, that's the whole. I mean, I have to get the whole set if I want to get the entire base set. But two pack open, or I mean, two, two rip, two videos, and two members' choice. And a partridge in a pear tree. That was our musical interlude. Then we got another centerpiece here. Yep. What's this talk about? Uh, let's see. Oh, these are, now this is actually going to talk about the Series 1 special cards, which is what the George Brett one was about. So there's a Robin Yount and George Brett about the 3,000 clubs. And two other ones is recognizing the league's newest teams, the Rockies and the Florida Marlins. Okay. That's cool. Good to know. Another info card. I think that's all of them. I don't think they're going to tell us anything else. I 
I'm just wondering if that first aid production, though, I wonder if that might be a uh, box head or a case head. I mean, I don't think they, they calculated them like that. They just randomly put them in packs. But, you know, I wonder if they they planned it that way. There's Tony Pena, definitely coming towards the end of his career. Since he spent a lot of the 80s at, with the Pirates. And then he started bouncing around a little bit. After the trouble occurred with the Pirates. Uh, Doug Grayback. We got another one of the checklist cards. No big deal. Stambolina. Or Belinda. Definitely coming up to the slide because nobody can sit like that. We got another Jeff Montgomery. Sorry about that. Jeff Hewson. So I'm starting to see some dupes now. But that's to be expected. 36 packs, fifth, uh, 14 cards per pack, only 300 cards in the entire set. We're going to start seeing dupes like Carlton Fisk. Sabo. And the last card of this pack is stuck. Um, Roger McDowell. Okay. So nothing nothing in that one. Really. Let's open this last pack. See if we might find something else different. Again, we're also looking for Barry Bonds because there's two versions of him. Okay, this is the info card about Master Photos. And we'll go ahead and start looking at the cards. But yeah, we'll, there's two versions of the Barry Bonds. When we get them, I'll be curious which one we get. You know, do we get the error or do we get the fix? I don't know. I don't think it really matters that we got a first day because not all of these are first day. Those are randomly inserted in all the packs. So, there's Xavier Hernandez. Jose Viscano. And Albert Bell, and it's good I don't have to flip it. Dan Pasqua. That's Todd Van Pompel. Which is funny because I actually pulled in Upper Deck, I pulled his prospect card. So he did play a little bit longer, which I knew he did. I, I, I looked those up after I opened them just out of curiosity. Eddie Murray is a Met. This is post Dodger, post Oriole. There's Benito Santiago, or Benny as he went by. Looks like he has his All Stars uniform on. Or maybe that was the year. I, I think that might be the year that All Star game was in San Diego, but I'd have to go look. There's Derek Parks, and that that stripe looks kind of interesting because it's got the green grass. I almost thought it was like a, a or an Italian flag or something, but that, that is kind of strange. We got Dan Walters. And last card. Is Mark, Mark Clark. I had to look at the glare a little bit. So, let's do a real quick recap. I'll put all these cards back together. So, only 
only thing that we pulled that was, you know, stood out was honestly this Eric Karos, the member's choice card. Again, there's 10 of these cards. So if you're going to get the entire first 300 base, you, you have to get all 10. So I am glad that at least they are coming at a, a clip that you can get them easy. You know, I don't know if every four packs is going to have one, but, you know, you you got to get them in order to get the entire set. So, but that's it. Nothing, other than that, nothing too, actually, I'm going to put that on the stand. Nothing too, too crazy. Um, not like the first one where we got the first, first day production hit and we got the, one of the four things of, uh, uh, you know, special things that happened in 1992 so i hope you appreciate this and, and enjoy this kind of look back uh, i know i do looking back at actually whenever i i wasn't watching baseball as much unfortunately i was doing other things like serving my country at that point so but i hope y'all enjoy this and if you do make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button that's, you know, it helps my channel. It definitely gets uh, gets the views out there for people who don't know I exist. Uh, also, if you like the video, uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And I have always I appreciate any comments you put. I enjoy conversing with uh, with the community. I do appreciate the time you spent with me looking back at 1992 or 93 in this case. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye now.